Hello friends, Radhika Ravi Kumar here. So in this tutorial, we'll continue with the left out uh, filter commands like head, tail, cut, and grab. So let us start with head. So let me use the uh, months file here. You can see contents of the month. Okay. So let us start with head. So head is nothing but it's used to get uh, you know uh, it will ha helps us to fetch the first uh, n uh, line lines of the file. So I should say hyphen n. N is nothing but the number that you specify. When I say hyphen two and I give the file name like months, you can see the first two lines of the file is getting displayed. The April and December. You can see this original file here. Okay. So in the same way, tail is also used to fetch the last line, last set of lines. Like when I say tail hyphen three and I give the months that the file name. You can see only the last three lines, October, May, and August. You can see here, October, May, and August is getting displayed. So this is how you can use head and tail. So instead of uh, not giving these numbers, and you know, if you don't specify this hyphen two or hyphen three, and you simply give head and the file name, what happens is uh, when you say head file name, only the uh, by default the first ten records, the first ten records will be displayed. And when you say tail month without specifying these um, you know numbers, then the last by default the last 10 records will be displayed for you okay so this is what is about head and tail now coming to the cut command cut command is used to uh, fetch only the certain characters at the nth character of each line from a file that is why we use cut that is when i say a cat and months this is the original file so when i say cut hyphen c2 and i give the file name you can see the second character of each line of my file is getting displayed. You can see P E A. This is the original file. P E A C A. So second character, the character will be the whatever number you specify. That particular character will uh, get displayed of each line. So even I can use like this also. Cut hyphen C, and I can say hyphen two, and I'll give months. So here you can see on the left hand side you haven't specified anything, it's uh, blank. On the right hand side you have specified 2. That is by default it will take from first uh, the beginning of the line till the second character of the of your file will uh, get displayed for each line. As you can see, uh, see here, it's A, P, D, E, M, A. The first and second character will get displayed. So also you can do like this also, you can say something like uh, 2 hyphen that means the from the second character till the end you haven't specified anything on the right hand side that means it will be the end of the line from second character till the end of the line should be uh, displayed for each line from the uh, given uh, file you can see from the second this from the second character till the end of the line that's what is getting displayed okay so and also you can use it like this also you can say two two four that is second third and fourth character will get displayed so hope you have understood the, these things and also you can use the cut command to fetch the fields from the um, file so let me display a new file here called um, yeah new itself so cat new this is a file so you can use uh, this is a field uh, if and and all so when i say cut field uh, so I, I want field that is that's why I'm using hyphen F. In the previous uh, example, you saw it was hyphen C. I was fetching the characters of each line, right? So here I want the field of each line. That is why we are saying hyphen F. And I want the field to be delimited. Uh, so again, I'll say hyphen D. And I want it to be delimited as space. Then I give the file name. Mm, sorry. So, sorry. I, I'll just say if I need to give the number here that is hyphen f1 i want the first field and i want it to be dis, uh, delimited by space then the file name that's it so enter yeah you can see that uh, here is the original file and you, here is the output of our command so you can see um, if this first field and uh, it is uh, delimited by space you can see the space so once the it uh, identifies the delimiter it will stop there and it will output the and this will be our output that is if here also if then interpreter then we have a space if we have a space so you can see the output here then cat we have a space so this is the first uh, i want i just asked for first field and that's what's getting displayed same way i can say 
I don't want the first I mean I want the first field but I want it to be delimited by colon when I say this in the original file you can see this colon is here so this if and and once the colon is um, occurs this need to stop and display this if and an in the same way you can just execute this and see yeah you can see here if and and we are getting this also so we are uh, it's even displaying the uh, you know lines which doesn't have this colon field for that you need to say yes that is mean skip that means skip the fields that doesn't ha uh, have this colon colon symbol so when I say like that only the fields that is having the colon when I say when I cat this you can see uh, here okay let me clear it and show it properly when I cat this and I run the same line and I've used a skip that is s here you can see here s is there that just means skip the lines which doesn't have the delimiter colon okay when I say this you can see only the line that is having the skip only that uh, the lines that's having colon only those lines are uh, displayed in the output whereas the other lines are just skip so you can see uh, I'm asking for the first field and it should have a delimiter colon you can see if an is the output here and interpreter pattern you can see here it's having a colon finally output of the contents till it identifies this um, delimiter till that it will be of the first field okay so you can use uh, to fetch the second field also like that second two fields or three fields and all so this word is about um, cut command head and tail so in the next uh, tutorial we'll see how the how to use the grep command grep filter command so hope you have enjoyed my tutorial and uh, thank you very much for watching